in Central Europe thrives an underground culture of illegal techno parties, open for everyone to join and participate. The tricky part is finding out where and when they occur. Mostly held in woods and abandoned warehouses, these parties can have people from tens to a few thousands and are all free of charge. These events are kept secret to keep the police away and in many cases not even the owner of the property knows that it is taking place. Born within this culture is techno, spelled with a K. Music with hard bass specifically designed to pound everyone dancing in front of their many thousand watt speaker systems as hard and loud as possible. The people responsible for these events are in constant danger of getting their sound systems confiscated, which cost them thousands of euros. But still they do this out of pure enjoyment. I want to show you a glimpse of this world by following a group of sound systems on their travels as they hold these techno parties. Our journey begins in Holland. Where exactly is something I've been asked not to reveal in this film. This is an abandoned army base. A large area with about 30 warehouses which had not been used for years. Now home to many squatters that have taken over the area for cheaper living and the obvious freedom of space. Some residents were not so happy with our filming of the area. Yeah, you can't uh, film them. Or uh, inside. In one location, a group of guys are getting ready for a long road trip to various places in Europe. This is the joint forces of three sound systems Sick of Silence, Tirna Casta, and the Decepticons. So for how long have you guys had this place? Uh, maybe uh, now three years. So, yeah. And we have uh, the 30, uh, 30 uh, buildings and uh, we squatted uh, 10 or 11 of them. So uh, yeah, good enough. <laughs> Packing up so much weight as these guys do can sometimes lead to problems. We find out uh, that we're too heavy, so uh, now we are uh, gonna get another uh, trolley or another car for behind the truck. And then we hope uh, it's um, uh, yeah, better that way. Let's go! <laughs> yeah? Ready? Ready. It didn't take long of a drive to find out we had new problems. The, the weight is not distributed well enough so that the front comes up and it's a little dodgy to, to drive. So we're going to put some heavy stuff all the way up front. We drove long into the night towards a location about 80 kilometers outside Berlin. But finding it came a bit difficult for us. Okay, okay ik weet het. We hadden recht door moeten bij de spalsel. 
we gaan weer draaien. We hadden, we hadden dus niet hierin gemoeten, want dit maar is dus, links, maar de links rechtdoor. Gewoon rechtdoor moeten blijven volgen. Naar de schaafverij. Ja, precies. Zo ver mogelijk het bos in. Oké, okay. oké, okay, oké. Okay, okay. Dat is een beetje A few moments later we find the place, but it had no lighting in the area, so our camera couldn't see much until the morning. It's kind of hard for us to find it, do you think people will find it? I think it was really easy to find it for us. <laughs> You've had it worse. Yeah. <laughs> It was really easy. I think we, uh, how much tries, two tries, then we find it. Yeah, two telephone calls. Sometimes you have to drive for like five, six hours to find a place. And now we have it in one hour, so yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Now the people will find it. If we have a good info number, that's no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a fast Goed jongens, gaat goed hè? Oké. Okay. Ja, ja, ja. Oh, professioneel bowler. Even Sadia bellen. Dit is, uh, dit zijn al die amps, al die uh, amplifiers voor de sound. Cold beer for the bar arrived. It was a godsend in the heat cooking everyone alive. This one is like the estimated time of uh, party starting. Uh, I think it was uh, around uh, 10 o'clock, 11, 11 o'clock in the evening. After dinner. <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe uh, around 7, 8 o'clock I think there will be some people. Kiravit, another system taking part, was also preparing for the evening. So are you guys coming along? We're getting, we're getting okay. Yeah. We're just uh, we're still waiting for the other guys to come because it's going to be a bit, a bit bigger than this. It's going to be, be a bit wider, but yeah, it's going to be okay. We're still waiting for Jenny. So that's that's the main thing. Generators. Always generators. Yeah, we will start tonight and switch off on Sunday morning. So, uh, yeah, we'll have a non stop long session. It's gonna be fun. Do you organize something like this, like the flyers and stuff? In Holland? Yeah. Uh, I don't make them, but when we do parties, we do uh, hand out flyers, we put it on the internet on certain places that's where not everybody can go and look or where the police doesn't come around. And uh, you, filter that out? you have these websites that are just, you have to be a member to get in. And if you're not a member, you cannot see certain pages where that's being posted. And a lot of, we also do a lot of mouth to mouth. You know, you tell someone and they tell 10 other people and the 10 others tell another 10 others. And eventually a lot of people know about it. And then uh, we have a info line usually around 11 o'clock or so, we just speak in where it is and then we got the rig all set up. And then it's a matter of time when everybody here uh, shows up, so. The organizers sat down with the sound systems to talk about profit split for the bar sales. And if, and if you have no money, then it's for us, okay, we don't, then we don't want any money. Yeah, we don't then it's, uh, yeah. We are on vacation, and vacation costs money. But with the party, if we can make some money, it's good for us. So it's so also good for travel expenses. We don't want to make a profit. We always want to stay at zero. Fair, yeah, and if yeah, possible, yeah. it's always nice to go more. But yeah, yeah, yeah. if it's not possible, yeah, fuck it. We had a good weekend and a yeah, smile yeah. on our face.
The pumping sound from the system woke interest in the local authorities. The police didn't mind so much that there was going to be a party here, as long as we followed some ground rules of sound volume. They took down our license plate numbers as a precaution. The first guests started coming in around sundown. Our sound system was mainly playing techno music, while the system next to us, Kiravit, liked to focus on playing jungle, which has a faster beat to it. More people came throughout the night, but not as many as expected. Yeah, typical Irish. Most of the time, like this. During the day was mostly relaxation time and fun activities, like a summer holiday should be like. Even the fire department stopped by, but not to hassle us with rules and restrictions, but to stop by for a beer or two in a friendly chat. Then they just thanked for themselves and left. stopped. Some video DJs were expected that evening, so we set up our projector and screen. And in the afternoon the party started swinging again. Common common side of these kind of parties are booths selling food, drinks and many kinds of merchandise. Here one of our own guys is selling records with underground techno and special print t-shirts. Big business! Buy our own records? The video DJs, or VJs as they are called, had hooked up their laptops to the projector and started mixing images. The German police came by again, 
But other than the loud music they asked us to put down, they didn't see any reason to break up the party. There was a bit more turn up of people that night, but again, we expected more. Taking down and packing up takes a lot less time than one would think. When many hands do the job and knowing where everything should go, packing does not need to take long. Cleaning up is something these guys take quite seriously. Damagers is a word they do not want to be called. Uh, if we can use the place, uh, we always uh, clean everything up. It's like, uh, yeah. For us, uh, yeah, we, we do this uh, yeah, because we feel good with it. Uh, like yeah. We think it's just natural to the shit you make, you clean it up. Easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, Leave no trash. No trash. And the most of the time, uh, in this case, this guy uh, arranged, uh, if we leave it in the bags, he uh, takes the bags and uh, brings them away. But this, this, this is not arranged, we take them with us and uh, put to try them somewhere in the trash bin, uh, somewhere. Oh. Parking a place from a, from a petrol station or something. You leave the, leave the place like you came yeah, to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, our intention. Of course the grass has to uh, do a bit of work to, to grow back where the people danced, but yeah, that's the only... Uh, I'm, uh, we do, and uh, yeah. No, no harm to the environment. No harm to the environment, seriously. No. That evening, we had our own little private party with a full box of 80s records. The next destination was Czech Republic. We were booked for an annual party called Summer of Hate. This event, with a misfortunate naming, was supposedly legal and many systems were told to come. On the way we had come to a stop as one of our trucks caught fire. What's the problem? Something burning out of his bus, I think. <laughs> yeah, don't know. If you put, you put your gun under it, yeah. Some wires crossed, which led to rubber melting. A quick fix for someone with electric skills. And on we went to the party. Even though permission from the landowner was in place, the Czech police had to show their dislike of it. 
Ah, they don't want this. What but it's legal. Yeah, it's legal, but they don't want it. This guy says okay, but the police says yeah, as long as we can try to stop it, we say no. Fucking hell. I got a message from David. There's another village that we're supposed to uh, come in from. Uh, it's Bokov. Popov. And what's the problem? It's like a fuck off go. Why? It's a legal party. That's what I thought. It's a legal party, no? Okay. Yeah, they told them to fuck off. Come, and chop, chop, in the bus, right? What do we think? There's another entrance. We were talking to some people that are at the party already. What? We were talking with the organizer. Uh huh. And I think there's another way to get in. But I, I mean, it's legal. There are cops or what? Then you have to kind talk of to legal. the police. You are checky guys, so yeah, you we go better. first. Okay, okay we go first. You go yes, after yes, us. Okay. 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 Wait first. We get. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, we are supposed to have a party here. But now uh, the police is blocked every way, but it's legal, they ev said everything was okay. But uh, okay. Oh, we're going again. to come in near the village. That must be, yeah. I Keep think the village fucking bullshit free. Yeah, and this, and there's already enough troubles in the village. Yeah. <laughs> I think. So, uh... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I said to, uh... The guy of the truck, uh, Peter, I said, uh, I can't help it if there are a bit scratch on it, eh? <laughs> he said, no, a little scratch is no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the place. Yeah, this, uh, I can see the field already, look. Ooh, this looks fucking dirty. Oh my god. Don't get stopped, don't go for it, go for it. Yay! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. I would almost keep going. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I see that, man. Woo! What the fuck? <laughs> still so it's okay Entrance back. Hold on to the other They don't want to have this party. This is clear. It's like. Mm. No. I wouldn't say that. I think they're just. There's a, we've passed an entrance somewhere when we were coming down that laneway. Because the other guys are in. The guys that are ahead of us are in the field. Yeah? Yeah, they're, they're, they're ahead of us. They're, they're got us even pulling to the field. Even though we had many ways to get into the area, the police just seemed to be blocking all of them. 
In the end, we found a way in. Fucking assholes, like, complete bastards. But I think, but, but there is this tree, so somewhere near, near to him, or maybe in the, between the trees, direction down there, something like this. It was obvious that this party was going to be a lot bigger than our previous one. Big Brother kept a close eye the whole time. Now, lower it down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, flip it. Okay. It's really homemade stuff. Yeah, it's a shitty thing. It's nice, but it's like we only use it two times, and now, yeah, we find out everything falls apart. So, hmm. since permission was in place, the organizers could advertise in time, and people could come a lot earlier. Techno parties most often seem to have a lot of dogs running around, playing and having fun. Yeah, if we have to wait, then we have to wait. Yeah, let us go with the outlet and then focus on the other things. Another system, Matu, planned on meeting us here and combine their speakers with ours. So setting everything up had to wait until their arrival. So we waited. And waited. And waited. Explain a little bit the situation here. Yeah, we're gonna stand with an uh, Austrian system, and uh, we have to wait for them because we don't know uh, if we're gonna want to uh, build up uh, a set with them. So we have to wait, and we don't like waiting. Yeah, Mikey likes waiting. If they are not around here around 11 o'clock, we're just gonna put on the sounds. Hour. <laughs> Better late than never. Just before 11 o'clock, they found the place. Finally! What's the stuff you have with sound? With sound? Uh, it's a uh, 4 double 18 yeah. uh, direct uh, front loaded, front loaded. Yeah. And, and four tops. With a uh, freeway system, with also okay. your front loaders. Okay. Yeah. You didn't bring any uh, W bins or port bins? Nothing Not like from this. the photographs? No, 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 no. Okay. We are here only with uh, one truck and whatever. That's good. Yeah. So uh, we can kick ass. Uh, kick uh, which one we can kick sure, we can kick yes. ass. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
Already the party had begun everywhere else. <laughs> A little over midnight, everything was hooked up and ready for action. see that hundreds of people had overtaken the area for parking and camping. The poor fella driving this car probably did not see what he was heading for. This was the only party in our journey that we ever saw toilets being arranged for people. Otherwise, taking a stroll in the woods was the only way to do your business. During the day, there was no shortage of activities. Like playing with your toys. Chilling out with a spliff. barbecue by the fire if you got hungry see some artistic event play sports eat at the local diner Take a stroll through the clothing department. Watch a wrestling match. Sleep. Or what everyone came here for. Enjoy the music. When our power generators got low on fuel, the quick fix was always to suck diesel from the tanks of our trucks. By sundown we had VJ setting up projectors for visual effect performance scheduled this evening. The 
day sleepers have had their sleep and have started regrouping for another night of techno mayhem. performance particularly caught my eye this evening. This man was playing with guitar effects with a camera mounted on his head to project live image on a screen while playing. At sunrise Sunday morning, all sound was shut down and visitors had gone home. So time to pack up. I was saying to Stein that uh, I feared the documentary. <laughs> yeah, maybe see uh, a side of myself. I don't <laughs> Dancing around with a with with football in your head. <laughs> Next, we needed a long and good rest until the weekend ahead, so we headed to the center of Prague to park the trucks at a tourist campsite. We didn't know exactly where this campsite was, so we relied on the only GPS navigator we had in the white truck leading the convoy. That got us into a bit of a problem and we had to stop. What's the problem? Uh, the, the bus with the Tom Tom with the navigation system, uh, he made such a quick turn that we couldn't follow him and uh, now we're uh, uh, close but far away at the same time. It's a damn shame. We must have waited for a good hour until he found us again. But that was not the only problem we had. is dat Eike net de zekering in zijn auto heeft verwisseld. Nou start zijn auto niet meer. Ja. Of Eike slepen. Ja, of de aggregaten eruit. Of aansluiten. Aantrek, aggregaten terug in gaan. Het helemaal vast daar, dus ik kom er ook niet tussen houden. With the car not showing will to start. It's a good thing to have a backup generator to give a jump start.
it did not seem to do the trick. You know what the problem is? No, you. it's just not working. We later learned that a fuse broke, which we oversaw. But while Ike waited for auto service to show up, the rest of us went to the campsite. We found a good shadow spot under a tree and rested long and well for a few days. On Friday, it was time to pack up and head to Germany. We were driving to Dresden to round up with other systems all heading to the big annual illegal event of East Tech, where we planned on combining our sound for a big impressive bang. Yeah. Yeah. Sausen. Yeah. Is Sausen or yeah. no, no, that's, that's, that's it. 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 We're going uh, near Berlin, but I have completely no idea where we end up. It's near Berlin, 10 or 20 kilometers down, but I don't know for sure. We just go somewhere where we meet other people who know knows a place where we meet other people. And then we also have other people from Holland that we're going to meet and then... I, 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 most of the time you never know how it's gonna go. Maybe we end up near here at the end. Near Dresden. <laughs> it's all <laughs> as possible. <laughs> we stopped by Dresden Airport for another roundup of trucks, which made our convoy much longer. There was somewhat over 20 trucks all together here. The drive took many hours. Only a few people knew where exactly East Tech was going to take place, so they drove in front for the rest to follow. This looks promising. Not even our navigation system knew where we were. Yeah, this is the site. We have to find a crew and stick together, stick together. Oh, and it's not raining, oh yeah. This is running so slowly. Finding the right spot can be tricky since there is no plan of setup in the area and so many systems have come to play. I already saw they put so uh, maybe like we this. put our rig so and we play in this that direction. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is, a is a one. This good one. one. We make yeah. here a big floor yeah, yeah, yeah. and and the, yours, the boxes are in these trucks. Uh, the DJ is in this truck. Yeah. No, no, no. That's not our truck. No, it's not all your white. truck. But that like one. That, yeah. That one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dispute with other systems. No, no. Just figuring out what the best option is that we're not blowing in each other's faces.
We had come here with many trucks and the plan on building a large wall of sound speakers. Connecting such a large scale system together took the whole night. The result of this night's work was this impressive 20 meter long wall of sound, the longest one in the area. The amplifiers needed to power this up filled up our largest truck. And seeing all this wire work makes you see why work on this took the whole night. Seeing East Tech in the daylight, you could see how lack of organizing the area just jams everything and everyone together. There is somewhere between 30 and 40 setups of sound here. In the afternoon, people started getting together in front of our sound. party of this magnitude, it is hard to hide from the German police. So they showed up in their riot gear. Going from system to system and unplugging from the generators. Much to the disliking of the techno fans. of police officers against hundreds of drunk party people. The officers felt their safety was in jeopardy and took the wise decision of pulling out and leave. officers were ready to storm into the area, but at the last moment, the landowner decided to allow the party to go on. No police came into the area after that. So generators got plugged in again and the party kept on going.
Many people packed up and left early in fear that the police would confiscate their systems. They had their eye in the sky on us the whole morning. By noon, all sound was shut down. Everyone still left in the area helped out cleaning up the place. The next thing was to plan our next move. Park the trucks, have a shower, sleep until the weekend, and do another party. Remembering a song from the Beastie Boys, you gotta fight for your right to party. The techno sound systems really have a category of their own when it comes to that. They live a lifestyle they love, take big risks, invest in expensive systems, and travel long distances to hold a free party for everyone. How cool is that? Yes.